What's up, boomers? I, I wanted to do another type of commentary video. I found a really funny video talking about like hidden things about Disney that I didn't even know before. And you know what? When I watched this video, it blew my mind because I didn't know it either. So I'm going to go and watch it with you guys and uh, uh, let's make fun of it brutally. And this uh, channel is called The Things. Which is weird, so... <laughs> What's even more weirder is that they have a video that talks about 10 secrets about working at Disney World that they try to hide. So, I, I, I never worked at Disney World. I, I, I don't, I'm not a basis of this, I, I have no idea. But I want to hear like some of the things that they're trying to hide from the public. Like, we gotta get to the bottom of this, this mystery. Some cast members and visitors have even wound up in Disney jail. Yeah, you heard right. Disney jail. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I, I... I gotta wonder how cool it would be to wind up in Disney jail. Like, I imagine it's the same thing for Pirates of the Caribbean, where you got a key and you're whistling to the dog. Like, that's gotta be Disney jail, right? Is it like a federal, like, pound me in the ass prison? It's Disney jail. Like, nobody's talking about that. Frequent attack. One time, a family was so upset with Pluto for taking a break that they pushed the costume employee into a fountain. <laughs> okay, so here's what I think is hilarious. So, Pluto was taking a break and the family straight up beat the shit out of Pluto and pushed him into a fountain because he was taking a break. When did this ever happen? Like, when, like, like, is there ever a time where somebody was in a costume and just got brutalized because they were taking a break? When, what part of this world is this? <laughs> maybe it's not like, maybe this is an old story. Maybe this was a long old story that something happened like, I don't know, like, 20... 30 years ago, but why are they passing it off as if it happened now? The Haunted House Fiasco. If you think that's weird, wait until you hear this one. It's extremely common for guests to bring their beloved family members to Disney in urns. What's funny is that that's actually like something that they always say, um, and I think that is something that's more of a... Probably more fact that people bring like their dead loved ones ashes to Disney World so they can scatter them onto Haunted Mansion but everybody knows that Haunted Mansion gets vacuumed because they make this point like a thousand different times all at the same time. So it's really funny to hear that it's still prevalent about it. I I find it kind of silly because if you bring your loved ones ashes to Disney World in the intent of spreading it knowing that it's just going to be cleaned up. I mean, you could drop chips on the ground and it's somebody's behind you picking it up. Like, why would you do that? I don't, like, why? I mean, can't you just spread the ashes over a cliff? Welcome to the Disney family. One of the first steps in being welcomed into the Disney family is taking a Disney indoctrination course. Indoctrination course. What the fuck? <laughs> So in order to work for Disney, the first thing that you have to do is go to Disney Indoctrination 101. I think that's like on day number one when you get hired there. So they, they, they bring you into a room and they brainwash you and they make you crazy and make you go, Disney is the way. We are the way. This is the way. Disney is the way. I've never heard of a Disney indoctrination course. Like, does this happen? Are people getting hired at Disney and being brainwashed? Secondly, employees are made to sign their life away, agreeing to work for as long as Disney desires. Former cast members have reported working 80-hour weeks. 80-hour weeks? That's two 40-hour weeks. That's like a regular job. Okay. No babies, please. Characters aren't allowed to talk ever, so they can't refuse to hold someone's baby for. So I've been going to Disney World for some time. I haven't gone to Disneyland for much longer, and I've never seen a parent hand a character their baby before. I mean, because, you know, you don't want to give your baby to a stranger, but 
who does that? Who gives their babies to uh, the characters? Like, oh, just hold my baby for a second. Okay, I'm gonna run out of the park. Goodbye. Stay in character no matter what. Employees agree to wear House of Mouse apparel. They sign away their right to receive CPR while in costume. What? That's gotta be insane. Like, what if you're in the, like, you're in the costume and you're dying obviously you're 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 dying and you, you have a heart attack and a stroke and you have to sign a waiver that you can't get CPR so if you're meeting with families and you die you're dead that's it you're goner bro rest in peace what since when did that happen? Since <laughs> how do you have this company? How do you have this 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 video talking about? Oh well, if you die in the costume, you you die in real life. Is it is it really like you don't get a you can't have CPR if you get really sick and you could possibly die. But, okay, I, I, I guess. On what planet does that even happen? Like, all right, fine, fuck it. This is done to prevent kids from seeing their heroes get unmasked. Oh, so if you die, they still want to keep the kayfabe up and keep the mask on just in case they have to pull the head off and then see your face. It's not like you could tell your handler to take you to the back so that way you can, you know, get the proper medical attention if you're just out there on stage. You're, you're, you're as good as dead. You're, you're as good as dead. Out of line. Believe it or not, but the happiest place on earth isn't a stranger to fights. I don't think that's a secret because everybody knows there's a lot of fights that happen at Disney World. And it's not always physical, it's always verbal, um, which makes things a lot more worse. People fighting with others, people fight amongst themselves, husbands and wives fighting with each other. This, this is no secret. This is not a secret. This is known. This is well known. This is fact. I, look, you can go to Disney World right now and see a fight. Every single day, tired people who have been waiting in long lines get into screaming matches with each other. Guests get outraged when less fortunate children are allowed to cut lines, and people get arrested and thrown into Disney jail for getting into physical altercations. Hard to get, easy to lose. Keeping your job is a lot harder than getting it. Cast members have been fired for eating popcorn, giving directions, and calling in sick. You can get fired for eating popcorn? Wow, that's petty. Like, like... So, if you're just eating popcorn, like, hey, like, what if you're on your break or something like that? Like, if you're eating popcorn, you get fired immediately? That's weird. You can't talk to us. If you're trying to find your way to Expedition Everest, the last person you should ask for directions is a costume character like Goofy or Daffy Duck because, well, they just won't talk to you. Firstly, why are you even asking the characters on where, where is this attraction? Why, why would you ask that? Why, why would anybody ever ask that to a character? I mean, if you're waiting in line, waiting in line for the character, I mean, you know, why would you ask them? Plus, they give you a map when you walk in, so these questions are redundant. Why would you even ask any characters where things are in the park? There's signs everywhere, and there's you have a map. I love watching videos where people like talk about these secrets at Disney World, and they think it's like just mind blowing, but it's not. It's the most contrived data that they can find and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense and everything that we just saw uh, i mean geez it's like they kind of made it up on the spot it, why would i still don't understand the whole if you die in a costume you die period they're not going to help you like Oh, forget the fact that we have trained medical staff. You, you're, you're as good as done. You're as good as dead. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, 
This was a, a rather stupid video that I would have loved to talk about and then rail apart. But if you like content like this, definitely smash that subscribe button, baby. It is scarf season, so we're rocking scarves. That's it. I'm sick of it. I'm out. Hey, if you like this video, check out this video over here. Or look at this video over here. Smash that subscribe button, baby.